CVS uh, topping the tape today, shares jumping over 6% after beating estimates for the second quarter uh, and raising full year outlook. Uh, the company also announcing plans to get into primary care uh, by the end of the year. Guy, you, what, you have a take? You own it? You don't own it? You gonna own it? You like going there? I have a take. My take <laughs> is you go back to, well, I mean, my if you pad. want to tie a ribbon on this whole show, that's why I got your heating pad. Okay. All right. And your Epsom salts, number one. <laughs> number two, for you technicians out there, you go back to 2015, mm -hmm. the stock topped out at uh, 111, sold off. We got back there in January, February of this year, sold off. We're making another run. The quarter was ridiculous. Bertha reported it on your show this morning, which I happened to watch, as I mentioned, religiously. They beat on revenue. They beat on EPS. The guide was commensurate with the beat, so I'm not making a big deal out of that. But valuation is compelling, so I think it takes out the 111 previous high, and I think we're off to the races here. Steve? Yeah, I agree with that. I'm, I'm looking at a chart, too, uh, as well, and it, it just mirrors sort of what Guy said. But I go back to December 2021. We double bottom in the middle of June on this stock, and it seems like it's been off to the races. So if you look at it through a prism short term, I think they're trying to patch that, that, that groundwork for them where they're not selling as many vaccines. So they're trying to dabble in the primary care facilities. They're selling a lot of tests. But technically, yeah. the stock is sound. Who's testing still? Everybody's still I don't know. testing? I, I mean, I don't I don't I, I guess they're trying to fill that void, but there's an awful lot. Whenever I'm in a CVS Tested and I'm me. in there, I'm in there a lot. Yeah. Usually guy and I go together, guy goes down to the salon pause aisle. Yeah. I walk my way over to the pharmacy, and everyone is buying stacks of tests because I think they're still giving them away with insurance uh, companies, are still giving you a, a certain amount of tests per month free. They bill the insurance company, so maybe that's a a windfall for them as well. All right, I'm not going to get into this, but you yeah. did already. You I know. I know. You I wish got, I had, you got me into it. Uh, uh, meantime, we've got a buzzkill on Ulta. The, the stock five percent lower uh, after comments from Deutsche Bank, citing uh, softer data uh, for the beauty category in July. Meanwhile, Oppenheimer said there's an opportunity here to buy the dip. Aaron, what do you make of the move? Well, I'm long Ulta, so uh, I don't love to see it down 20 bucks. However, I was thinking, all right, I'd like to add. They had some great momentum last quarter, and I think they're, you know, they're a little below Sephora, so they're more accessible for people whose wallets are a little bit stretched. But I want, I'm curious why four weeks before earnings, sometimes you see somebody downgrade. This wasn't, I guess, a downgrade, but I often wonder, all right, is management sort of giving them a little bit of color so that maybe the street will walk guidance down. I don't know. You, you, do you see that ever? Yeah, and I'm wondering. I, I <laughs> am amazed at how analysts can still miss by so much when they get so much help. A lot I, of so I'm wondering if that's happening here. So I'd like to wait and see if someone else sort of confirms that. Maybe so Bonowin. Bonowin, uh -huh. you want to, is it about that or something else? Yeah, I know Karen's been long this one for for a while, and I agree with her. It's been a it's been a pretty um, great turnaround story. Uh, the, the the Deutsche Bank piece did mention uh, a, a pickup in promotionals, and I would like to see <clears throat> because from my point of view, that might be a read through in, into declining gross margins. Now, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but that will be what I'm that I'm listening for, and that's ultimately what's going to determine the direction of the stock going forward.